Hello and welcome to another DJF computer tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Daddy Games Films tutorial. In this tutorial I want to talk to you about Nanite. Uh, if you're a person that repairs a lot of computers or even if you don't repair a lot of computers and you just now got a new computer and um, you need to install a bunch of programs on, on it to get it all ready. With well, this program right here will make it uh, simple and easy. One thing I hate is that whenever I go fix a computer is after I install Windows and everything now I have to go install a bunch of programs luckily with this program here it just makes it simple and easy okay the first thing that you need to do is go to Google and type in Nanite either that or you can just go to Nanite.com from here this is what the page look like unless you know the they changed the page or something like that which it, it is possible they a lot of times they, uh, people change the page, their page and what it looks like and stuff but as of right now as in 2014 this is what it looks like and right here you see all the programs that you can install now you don't need to install all these programs only a few of them like first I would like to install Chrome fi and Firefox now I also like to put Google Earth and Steam on here because I play video games for those of you who like Skype, there's a Skype one here. And also, if you like uh, Thunderbird as your email client, it has that on there. And it has a few other ones like Yahoo and AIM. For uh, compression, I like to have a 7-zip. And I go ahead and get Renoir 2 just in case, because some files require uh, Renoir to unzip. All right, for your iPhone and iPad lovers, uh, here is iTunes. Uh, which I hate app, Apple products though, but anyways to each his own. Uh, VLC, VLC is a must have. You should have VLC on your computer. It'll play any video files out there. There might be a couple of them that they won't, but for the most part it plays almost all video files. <clears throat> also Spotify. Spotify is basically, it's an online music service. It's like Pandora, if you heard of Pandora, but Spotify is a lot more, I say a lot more better gives you more choices. Okay, like Kodaks. Uh, I would suggest you install that or install all the Kodaks for videos and music and stuff like that so that uh, Windows Media Player will also play your videos if you don't like how VLC plays them. And as you can see there's plenty of other uh, media players here. There's a couple of nice media players here like Winamp. It's a pretty good one. Uh, you also got Media Monkey and QuickTime. Now QuickTime some programs require you to have QuickTime, so I'll go ahead and install QuickTime. Okay, for your runtime, I would suggest you go ahead and install all the runtimes here. You got your Java, the .NET, uh, Civilite. Civilite's mostly for like Netflix, and you got to have that in order to uh, play Netflix videos. You also got Air, and you also got Shockwave. I suggest you go ahead and just install all that. Okay, you got Dropbox here, which is a good program that you can put on any of your cell phones, whether it's Apple or Android or any other ones. I suggest you put that on there just so you can back up all your pictures and, and stuff like that. Uh, your pictures, your video files, stuff like that. Uh, it is a good program to put on there. Google Drive is also a good backup program for all your pictures and videos. And then you have a few other online storages here. If you want to know more about them, just do a Google search for it. Over here in the imaging uh, part here, you got several of them. You got Paint, you got Picasa, and you got GIMP. Paint.net, I like the most. GIMP, it's an okay program. Seems a lot of people like it. And then here's uh, Picasa. Again, those are the top three programs that I like. These other ones are okay. And again, if you want to know more about these programs, just do a Google search for it. Uh, down here is the developer tools. Okay. Um, if you're not very computer savvy, uh, you don't really need this. Okay, up here you got documents, you have OpenOffice, you also got Adobe Reader. Now LibreOffice is another office program and it's free. 
Oh, by the way, all these programs are free. But the only problem with LibreOffice, it takes a while to download. So I normally use OpenOffice. Now I'm going to go ahead and install W Reader and Foxit Reader, even though both of them are PDF readers. But I just seem to like Foxit Reader a little bit better. But I also put Adobe in it because some, some PDF files will only let you do Adobe. Okay, now under the utility section here, there's a program called TeamViewer. I use this a lot to fix uh, customers' computers. A lot of times something goes wrong, I've already fixed their computer once and they took it home and they messed up something. Where this right here is a remote access tool. So I'll be able to get on there and fix whatever they did wrong or a customer that I had a while back, they end up getting a virus, I can get on there and fix that. Uh, so that's a great tool for you know repairing people's computer remotely. This next program is called ImageBurn. ImageBurn records ISOs and other media onto a disk. TerraCopy. TerraCopy is a really good program. It replaces the Explorer copy. So I suggest you install that. That will copy files a lot more faster and more accurate than Windows Explorer. Okay, this next program called CD Burner XP it is a really good burner. It'll burn a lot of other files. Personally, I prefer Image Burn, but CD Burner is pretty good too. This next program right here is called Glary. This is a very good program. It's a system utilities program and basically a registry cleaner, but it does a lot more than any other registry cleaner. Like you would get, if you ever heard of C Cleaner, C Cleaner is probably the most popular free registry cleaner. But this right here is basically the same thing, except Glary does a lot more than what C Cleaner does. It's a very good program, it's free, and if you get the pro version, it will do the stuff automatically. Uh, but with this version, you just pretty much have to open up and click a button to do a quick clean. But it's a very easy program, and I mean, you can do a whole lot on it. If you like, look on YouTube and see if you can find an updated tutorial on it. This next section here is the security. Of course, everybody knows that you know they need an antivirus. You got antiviruses on here, and you also got anti-spyware on here, and anti-malware on here too. What I would suggest is, let's say if you if you have like a you know a legal Windows computer, then I would put Essentials on there. If you have an illegal you know op operating system on there, like if you someone put an illegal version of Windows on there, then I wouldn't put Essentials on there. I would put like AVG, Avast, Avera. I would put one of those on there and not Essentials. And then also might want to go ahead and put like SpyBot or, or especially MalwareBarts is a really good program. I suggest you use that. Anyways, once you pick out the programs that you want, you're going to click the installer and then it's going to come to this page. And for some of y'all, y'all won't have the option to choose where you can download it at. But I got mine set up to where I can choose where I want to download it at. I'm going to download this to the desktop. And once it's done, you can go ahead and click on it. Or if you prefer, you can just go find, find where you downloaded it at. Normally the finders go to start and they'll go to the computer name up here and find your downloads folder and normally it's in there but I got mine going to my desktop so I'll go ahead and go to my desktop. Now right here it is all I have to do is click on it and install it. Now what I need to do I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I've already got it installed on my computer and everything. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to where mine's at here on the computer. If yours is in the downloads uh, folder, I suggest you go ahead and take it and put it in your computer into, into the C drive and put it in there. As you can see, mine's already in the C drive. So I'm going to take this and drag it over and put, pin it to the start menu. As you can see, I already did that right there. And the purpose of that is that even though I got it installed in my computer, it's already installed all the programs that I need in it. What this does, it will update all the programs. There's no need to uninstall anything or anything like that. This right here will automatically update every single program that you have on here. As you can see on here, it said skip up to date because I just done this before I done this video. And everything's up to date but let's say a couple weeks go by or something like that and you want to check it again this right here or uh, install the latest version of all those programs 
So it's a great handy tool to use. You can also teach your customers how to use it. If you put it like on the start menu like I did, all they have to do is go to start and hit uh, click on the 9 night button. Oh, by the way, this is Glare Utilities. I suggest you look up a good tutorial on this. Maybe one day I'll make an uh, updated tutorial on it. Anyways, that's it for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section and give me a thumbs up or you know, however YouTube's doing a rating system these days. Because uh, I, I rarely update video or do any more videos anymore. So, anyways, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day.